Thanks, Jeremy, for an interesting report. Can I turn to you first, Joyce Talbot, and ask what the latest thinking is in the European Union? Do all the member countries agree that ID cards are a good idea? Well, countries who fear they may be magnet countries for immigrants, such as Britain, France, and Germany, are generally keener on the new identity card than countries such as Spain and Portugal, which may be overall exporters of labor. But is any consensus beginning to emerge? I think that the general principle of ID cards has been widely accepted at governmental levels. There are still many details to be decided regarding penalties for refusal, for example. But most governments are beginning to realize that some form of citizen identification is essential in today's world. But that's a conclusion, Mark Kelly, that you would strongly challenge, is it not? Absolutely. We've seen no evidence to show that ID cards would do anything at all to prevent terrorist attacks. Why should they? Many of these terrible attacks are carried out by people with no previous criminal record. Terrorists aren't common criminals, after all. And I'm not convinced that the new technology described in your report will work as well as governments suppose. I can assure you that it will work. There's already reason to believe that face recognition will be rather easy to deceive. Studies I have carried out suggest that you only need to shave a little off the eyebrows and narrow your lips slightly to confuse the best programs now available. I'm afraid governments are enthusiastic about the technology simply because they like the idea of having information about everybody. Oh, really, Mr. Kelly? That's a very foolish thing to say. The fact is that governments have a duty to do everything possible to protect the lives of their citizens. When we remember how destructive a modern terrorist attack could be... If I may say so, the question is whether ID cards would help prevent these attacks. Since there seems little reason to suppose that they would, and since there's every reason to suppose that they will seriously reduce our freedom, the balance is clearly against introducing them. We're coming to the end of our program. I wonder if I might ask you, Joyce Talbot, for a closing word. Yes, I think governments are generally in favor of some sort of identification system. I hope we can now have a calm and intelligent public debate so that a decision can be made before the end of the year. Thank you. Mark Kelly, what's your reaction? I would welcome the kind of debate Ms. Talbot describes because it will show ID cards to be unnecessary, expensive, and dangerous. I'd like to thank our guests for taking part in this evening's program and you, the viewers at home, for watching another edition of Expert Debate. <laughs>